stop, Dave. What do we have to say? You'll find out. <laughs> I said a little aggressive. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. It is good to see old Tang Sang on the ground on her own four feet, but we got to jump in the ram real quick. So I want to get you guys up to date on everything, but first things first, we need gas. And this kids is what they call truckyondo. Anyways, updates on the Mustang. So last night went over to Joe's to work on the boost control. Now I was driving the car over there and I've had a manual steering car before. And I literally was at the point, I was like, man, this thing does not drive good at all. I'm kind of scared to take it down the track. But what was happening was actually, so there's two U-joints. There's like a U-joint up top and down below. And then there's a steel rod that connects those U-joints on to the rack from the column to the rack. Anyways, the rod was a little too long and it was actually binding up the U-joints. So last night when I got home uh, from like 10 p.m. to midnight, I took the whole entire steering column back off, took the steering linkage off, grinded it off, and man, the steering works phenomenal. So make sure you don't have any of the rod protruding through the U-joint and you won't have any problems. Future reference for anyone out there. But anyways, so the steering is fixed. Now the steering is awesome. I just need to get an alignment. Obviously we have that scheduled for Friday, but problem that we're running into is we still can't actually see live boost. Now the AMS, controller has the ability to track live boost you just have to hook up a auxiliary input to it i did buy an omega boost box from lund racing to work with the end gauge for some reason the thing's not working i need to figure it out Woo, look at that quality right there 31 dollars little mechanical boost gauge it'll work after throwing the box i realized that there's four changing color moods wow this thing is really good price <laughs> All right guys, so I did some playing with the N-Gage actual Omega Boost Box, the thing that hooks to it to read boost, and I think I might have it working. So what I'm gonna do now is unhook that and run the vacuum line to our sweet AutoZone Boost Gauge and see if it's accurate, because now I don't know if it's accurate, but it is working. It was showing like six pounds of boost, almost seven on the launch. I got it on the trans brake, which you'll see here. So that's what it's showing on the launch with four pounds commanded on the boost controller. So now I'm gonna check it on this. Like I said, this isn't perfect, but this will at least tell us if we're close. So we'll check that out. Okay, so I'm gonna set you guys right here and uh, we're gonna test out the little mechanical boost gauge and see if this works or not. This could be sketchy. Okay, so I would say that the end gauge is working based on the mechanical gauge because to me the mechanical gauge It was definitely between six maybe seven, but I'd say it's pretty accurate So we've got working boost. That's good. We can now finally log it in the end gauge It looks like it's fairly accurate as well So now what I have to do what I was explaining to you guys earlier I'll kind of show you this last input at the bottom here, it needs a 12 volt switch in order for the boost ramp to see power. It needs power to know um, when to have boost and when to have the ramp. So like I said before, yesterday when we were messing with it, when this wasn't hooked up, you just hit the trans brake, it would put five pounds on the gate, four or five pounds on the gate, but then the boost ramp would never start. And it's because this last one has to have a 12 volt input in order for those to start. But like I said, when you have that hooked to 12 volt, we jumped it last night, you can't change any settings on the controller. So I'm going to end up putting this 12 volt and just run it to this switch down here. That way when I hit this switch for the trans cooler and the ice tank, I will have uh, 12 volts to the boost ramp as well. 
welcome back to the channel. Actually, not really. This is just a continuation of the video earlier. Joe's got his serious gloves on. <laughs> I was welding. Oh. oh that's my welding nice. gloves. I can't even get welds done anymore. It's because you don't call it. Guys, right we've got here. this sick boost can, or boost gauge set up right now. So what we're trying to do is see if that one's accurate with that yeah, one. Yeah, well, so. not really. This one's accurate. We're trying to see if this one's accurate. Yeah. It would be nice and if that was. We're playing around with the boost controller. Let's go, Dave. So I what do we have the boost ready. set at? Uh, you'll find out. That's, I don't like that. Go easy on me. I'm probably going to need my light on. Yeah, probably. I'll be driving with that. We'll be fine. Like, I want to try to record this because I'm not going to be able to watch it. Why not? Shut up. <laughs> You're in my what space right this? now. What is this? What in the... <laughs> it needs a low grease. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. We're going. <laughs> I, I don't know how fast we're gonna go because uh, the steering is like this for straights. <laughs> Maybe we should pull the pin on the parachute. I think it's like a little tight or something. I don't know, but at least it's better than yesterday. <laughs> Does it feel better? Yeah. Oh yeah. It feels. I mean, it's still tight, but it feels better. So I oh, do you want the CO2 on? Yeah. Turn the CO2. On. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. So we only have enough gas on. for like maybe two or three hits, so. so we're just gonna be and I'm in the... It's on 12 minutes. What? It's on 12 minutes. Oh, gosh. Which, that's going to be more... Boy, we had 10 last night, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, what are you... 12 on top of 4? That's like 6... No, it doesn't Dude. work like that. Still, it's even if it's 14, 15... But you tried I got it earlier off. with 6. That was launching, though, not driving. It didn't do it. Okay, well... I'll, I'll tell you to get out if it goes too hard. You just... So you're on the overboost, right? Are we going to go right, or what are we doing? Yeah. So yeah, no, it's on 12, so be ready. It's gonna get you. Oh yeah, I'll turn it I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna stay in it. So I gotta turn this off then, right? Yeah, turn it off. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I don't know about it. Maybe we should start lower. <laughs> You know, with Joe's, with Joe's car, he goes very incrementally. You just want to turn my shit up? No, I think this is the right call, but you're being a little... We're not out drag racing. <laughs> I don't like this call. Give me the A to B. Well, I'll give you the A to B. Stop right here for a sec. Yeah, okay. I'm trying. I'm going as quick as I can. You okay. got to scroll through the thing. It takes a sec. There we go. Fuck all this people. <laughs> I mean, frick them. Frick them. <laughs> I forgot. We're on the family channel. <laughs> What's the dip? Boom. Okay, no, there's no dip. Oh. So, it. so, this is just, um, I set up number two as a, your test. So, turn it back on. So, it's just eight all the time. Us. Like, it just, and that's what it is. So, we're going to see how much boost this makes. Oh, we got to wait. Someone's fine. So, we'll let them go around us. I would love to go around. Push your blinker. Ah. One blinker. <laughs> negative vacuum or something because it's very this boost gauge was showing about nine and that one was showing about nine and a half to ten this one's a little high that's good so that's good I'd, I'd rather see that so i'm going to turn it up do you think it'll hold anymore yeah okay maybe 12. so eight on that is only making eight on that makes about 10 pounds which you gotta remember you gotta overcome the spring so it's gonna be some black magic yeah. you're just gonna have to learn yeah so no eight on this is about Ten the only thing that sucks is when it boost creeps, it's usually in third, so we're not going to be able to tell. No, you, you, that's going to have to be a track. track. <laughs> not killing me today. <laughs> Joe doesn't want to die yet. All right, so let me edit this. I'm on the 12. Are you changing on this setting, or are you going to leave that setting as stage I'm, This is our street playaround setting for now. Oh, okay. So 
the, I'm only playing with this one. And then we need to do. We need to a, set some. We stages. need to try a launch too. We got to get you up near 10 pounds of boost for the launch. Ooh. Well, that's what you used to launch at. We think. <laughs> well, yeah. We'll be able to tell. <laughs> You'll have to go down the hill. Two pounds of CO2 to one pound of boost. So hold on. It's not a bad little ratio turn up. Was it spinning again? Mm, it wasn't bad actually. There was a part where I kind of lifted just because I didn't, couldn't tell if it was spinning or not. I thought I'd save your life, but you know, I'm just nice like that. You don't ever let out. This is why. Why? We got a test. <laughs> We're testing. Would you stop? <laughs> It's not going to off 14. Would you stop, Dave? I'm getting out. You? you drive, let me know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Someone's got to hold the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, the tires are warm now. 14 on that? Would you stop, Dave? Oh, because you think it, it's not one to one. Stop. Anyway. Just stop. <laughs> I don't know why I talk. I should just shut up. I don't know up. why you talk either. <laughs> 14 on that? I don't need oh, that. that's a. I don't need the light. You, can, you hook up a colored nipple to it, you can change the color of it. Because it's just nipples. a light bulb. <laughs> it curves and then goes back, right? It curves and then goes back straight. For a little bit. You don't have long, but we don't need long. We just need a little bowl to see where this is. Let me know if I need to let out. <laughs> no prep kings. <laughs> we should not yeah. be out. Yeah. So it's gonna turn right and go back straight. I don't know if you have enough room for between the stop. the stop sign? I don't think so. He's right there. Just try it. No. Just get it. Don't try it. No, is the curve still going? Would you quit whining? <laughs> Do any swap seats? I should have got on the highway because it goes straight over. Yeah. Go through the stop sign. We'll do it in the normal spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Probably two more. I gotta make it home. And I don't have gas for this weekend yet. I'm trying to locate some. What do you need? Yeah. Nine, huh? Well, you're going to Dallas. You should be able to find it. Oh, 
stops them. Now I can log in, I can see it in the can we see data it? log. Can you adjust that and try to take it out or no? No, they just give you like an equation. Oh, but who knows, like this could be more accurate than that because oh, that's just on a... This is hooked up to vacuum. This yeah, is, but it's on a T-bolt or it's no, on a T-clamp. This, and... this is, hey, this is right. Guaranteed this is right. Oh, right, hold on, stop right here. Turn off. Trans break it. Or you do well, it. This is it. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, no, leave it on. Cause it'll go to it. Ooh, uh, no, I'll oh, hold on, I'll get that. Oh okay, man, so. I'm gonna have no boost. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have no boost on the launch. Where is up one. What? We're sitting ducks here. It goes to eight. Okay, try, try two step one and the bump. Let's make sure it's all functional. You just gotta straighten up. Let me report this. It's gonna be great. But yeah, try the two step. You don't have to watch the boost, just let it build boost and then try to bump it in. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Ready? I'm ready. Did it do it? I went to 12. Well, it will when you release. Yeah. I okay, so I want you to go down the hill. You need to do it again. It was, um... Was it creeping? Well, it, at first... Because when I did it earlier, it would creep up one and come back down and try and like level up. That was about up. eight pounds of boost. I think that's pretty close to where we want to leave it for your first pass. Probably. We just don't know where it's going to do. Yeah, like, because we don't know if it's the same boost or not. We have no clue. Because we don't know what it ever was on before. Yeah, no, we don't. Christmas tree. Go. I'm just gonna put a carbon fire plate over all of this. <laughs> For her. Did you want me to do that once more and stay on the two step longer before you bump? Uh -huh. Car getting on? Or are they just on the highway? I can't tell. Is that no, the highway? Got up. Hopefully they're in the left one. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna hit my brakes like if it's hazards. <laughs> just let these three pass. I'm not gonna video this one. I'm gonna watch. So stay on the two step a little longer this time. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> so you can hear the gates start working. So it is working. It's like eight pounds of booze, but it sounds pretty. It sounds pretty. I don't know if it was on eight before. I don't know if it was that much. That <laughs> I said a little saucy. Aggressive. It bumps good though. <laughs> Dude, if you were in here when it bumped that one time, I was like, oh! <laughs> uh, you feel good about it? All right, let's go back to the house and I'll set a tune up. I'll say, I think that's a little rough for a uh, Oh, you, you want it a little less? On the launch? Yeah. For the first one? Yeah. Because okay. I don't know. I'll go a little less. If the track's going to hold or... Yeah, yeah. No, and it's all new stuff. Like, let's get you down the track once and then yeah. we can quickly make changes. Yeah, I'd rather go like 8, like, oh, 6, it went a one thirty two sixty foot. Now we know. Let's yeah. up it. Okay, well, let me play with it. Hold on, no, I want you to bump once more. Oh Turn it off. So what was that? It was about eight pounds, seven to eight pounds. Dang, it seems like a lot. It did, but launch, boost, not boost. We're gonna go down to six. 6.5. Nah, yeah, let's do an extra six. Okay. Extra six. Okay. okay, so try the bump right here. Are you Okay. 
because it just barely creeped. Yeah, that one was creeping like I felt like you normally did. So guys, I'm actually taking some trash bags full of clothes to the local Amarillo Habitat for Humanity, I think is what it's called. I got a bunch of extra clothes I was finally cleaning out. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully you enjoyed some poles in the tank staying on the street. Now we don't know if the boost creep issue is fixed because we'd have to get into third gear and uh, it was pretty cold out last night and it was already kicking the tires in second gear. So we won't know for sure until we get to the track, but we do have a few of the settings set up for what we think we can make a clean A to B pass. It's not like, I don't think it's an 850 pass. I think it's probably like an 860, 870 pass, which will be good because then as long as the track is hooking, which it should be, and the car makes a good clean pass, then we can just turn the boost up from there. But we think we have the settings set to where we think they need to be to make a good pass. And then like I said, we'll just turn it up from there and then we'll kind of see what the car can actually do. But I am gonna keep that mechanical boost gauge just, I think I'm gonna like tape it or zip tie it to the steering column just because there is no overboost feature in this controller, which is really weird. The other controller I had actually had an overboost feature. Now you could wire in something where when it sees a certain vacuum number, you could have it kill the timing or even the boost controller, but we don't have anything like that set up and the controller doesn't have anything like that within itself. So I'm gonna actually keep that cheap little mechanical boost gauge, at least for this weekend, because like I said, we haven't gotten to third gear, so we don't know if it's gonna creep or not or if it's gonna fall off or what it's gonna do. So I'm gonna tape it right on the steering column. That way, once it gets to third gear, I can just glance down and see where the boost is at. And also we can log it through the end gauge because now we do have those capabilities also, but I think it'll be easier for me just to look straight down onto the mechanical gauge rather than like looking over to the end gauge at the top of the track. So next video you guys will see will most likely be on Sunday and you'll know how the track day went. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got a few more small things I need to do before we get to the track on Saturday, but I'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully all goes well at the track. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, share the video with a friend. I'll see you guys on the next one.